Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through this simultaneous equation question. And recently I released a video on the seven type of simultaneous equation questions you come across in all level examinations. I did, I did not include this because it's very hard or almost impossible for you to see this type of equations in all level. Now, if for one reason or the other you come across this type of questions, this is how to go about it. But in this question, you cannot eliminate because there is no how you multiply to make sure that this and this are the same and this and this are the same. And you can't use substitution method because it is very hard for you to make S subject formula here, which would not work. So what do we do? What we do is simply first, let's label the equation. Let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. Adding this equation, we simply have 3sy square plus 3s square y plus s raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3 is equals 27. That's 18 plus 9. Now let's rearrange. Rearranging this equation, we simply have s raised to the power of 3 plus 3s y square plus 3s square y plus y raised to the power of 3 is equals 27. Now take a look at this. Something comes to mind. You see, there is s squared s cube and there is y cube there is s y square and there is s square y what this reminds me of is simply something like this s plus y raised to the power of 3 s plus y raised to the power of 3 is the same thing as s plus y s plus y and s plus y it is the same thing as s s plus y cube is the same thing as s plus y opening up this you have s square plus s y plus y s plus y square now using this to multiply this and this to multiply this we simply arrive at this so this implies that Everything here is the same thing as s plus y or raised to the power of 3. So in that case, we are left with s plus y cube is equals 27. If s plus y cube is equals 27, it therefore implies that s plus y is equals cube root of 27. Because to remove a cube, we look for the cube root of both sides. So s plus y is equals 3 because cube root of 27 is equals 3. Cube root means something you multiply 3 times to get 27. So if you multiply 3 times 3 times 3, this will give you 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So the cube root of that is this. Similarly, let us subtract the equation. So let's say equation 2 minus equation 1. Subtracting the equations, this becomes 3s square y minus 3s y square plus y raised to the power of 3 minus s raised to the power of 3 is equals 18 minus 9 is equals 9. So this guy here is the same as y minus s raised to the power of 3. So just like we did here, once you simplify, uh, once you expand this, you get this. Simplifying this, it is equals this. So which is equals 9. y minus s is equals cube root of 9. So here we've gotten s plus y and here we've gotten 
y minus s. This shows that we now have s plus y is equals 3 minus s plus y is equals cube root of 9. Adding, adding both equations, we can call this equation 3 and we can call this equation 4. Adding both equations, this is 0, this adds up to give you 0. And this is s and this is this is y, this is y. y plus y is 2y. So 2y is equals 3 plus cube root of 9. Cube root of 9. So 2y is equals... So uh, now we've gotten the value for y. So let's put this value of y into any of the equation, either equation 3 or equation 4. So putting the value in equation 3, we have s plus y is equals 3. Therefore, s plus 2.54 is equals 3. s is equals 3 minus 2.54, which is equals 0.46. So, solving this uh, simultaneous equation, we got y is equals 2.54 and s is equals 0.46. If you put this value of s and y into this equation, into this expression, you get 9. Putting the values here, you get 18. So, that's how you solve this type of simultaneous equation questions. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Thank you.